six and a half inches of snow. Eaton Prairie with over five. New Hope about four inches. Same with Apple Valley. Plymouth about three and a half. Roseville three and a half. And Montemedi in the East Metro about three inches of fresh snowfall. Statewide, we're actually seeing the highest totals around the Southwest Metro, if you can believe that. Lake Benton in far western Minnesota, six inches. Redwood Falls about six inches. Faribault about five. Marshall about five inches. Up towards the St. James and St. Cloud area about four inches. And Pipestone about three and a half inches. So let's talk timing. When does the snow wrap up? The back edge of that is already moving through southwestern Minnesota by, say, 8 o'clock, starting to move through the metro. I do think the accumulating snow will be done. A couple hours after that, the road should be a whole lot better. By the time we head into 11 o'clock, most of the snow wraps up over most of Minnesota, with the exception of the Iron Range and the Arrowhead, and eventually wrapping up for all of us uh, just after midnight tonight. So how much additional snow could we be looking at? Well, on top of what we've already seen so far, we could easily pick up an additional one to three inches of snow in the metro. Parts of Wisconsin where the snow is really just starting to get going, about three to five inches. And again, west of the metro, maybe an inch or two of snowfall. And the good news again with this is, too, temperatures are going to warm up as we head into tomorrow. Maybe just a, a degree or two warmer than freezing for some of us, but I think many of us will be back in the lower 40s for highs. Maybe a stray shower early on, but nice day to wrap up uh, any snow shoveling. Okay. Just rain in the forecast for Thursday. Maybe a couple of wet snowflakes mixing in early Friday, but nothing accumulating. And then it just looks like more rain showers by Sunday, with temperatures staying in the upper 30s to lower 40s. We'll be right back. Is that what this is about? Yeah, definitely. Are you here, Bill? It paid me off to obey the law and be a better person. Let's be right now. Next time you fill a prescription, remember this. Minnesota's Congressman Jim Hagedorn voted against lowering the cost of prescription drugs. Oh. That's right. Hagedorn voted against the bipartisan bill and protected his drug and insurance industry donors instead. He supported letting them charge an age tax on older Minnesotans, too. So if you ever wondered why this costs so much, now you know. DCCC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Minnesota Rusco now has Minnesota's window, triple pane. Triple pane windows offer the best in energy efficiency and make a nice difference in noise reduction as well. Call or go online now and get 65% off all labor, 18 months interest-free financing, and we'll upgrade every window you purchase to triple pane at no additional cost to you. We've got you, Minnesota. And now, we've got your Minnesota windows, too. Minnesota Rusco, since 1955. joy of selling your house with no repairs, no showings, and no surprises. Call Homestead Road today for a free no-obligation offer. It's a free with your own Minnesota families and police get a defender in Washington. Send them right. I'll get the job done. Tyler Kistner for Congress. Hot highlights on the Prep Sports Extra. Every week, you decide the winner. Watch Mondays at 6 when the best plays are revealed. Cast your vote on Facebook. And see who wins on the Prep Sports Extra. Hot highlights is presented by True Stone Financial. You've been sending us your pictures from this big first October snow. Lots of kids out there enjoying the day. Some beautiful scenes. Kids and dogs do always like it, even if the rest of us think it might be a bit early. Well, now here's Ben.